Hey everybody, this is Franco and I got a new toy and I'm pretty excited about it. I just literally just received a Precision Matthews PN728 VT milling machine. I'm going to make a lot of videos about this. I haven't, I haven't done too many videos lately because, you know, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I, you know, I run out of projects, maybe I don't get excited about the CNC stuff, I walk away from it for a while, but I've been dreaming about getting this machine for at least a year, and it finally showed up. So this is uh, there's going to be a series of new projects and videos that are related to this machine. But I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it yet because I haven't taken it out of the crate. But I just I want to put it out there, tell you guys a little bit about the machine, and maybe you can leave some comments. Uh, let me know the types of questions or the types of features, the things you'd like me to check when I actually get this machine set up. And on the next video, I can do all that stuff, you know, check the backlash, you know, uh, spindle run out, whatever. All the things you want to see me look at on this machine, please leave comments and we'll get that in the next video. But really quickly, I just want to tell you why this machine's here. The PM25 MV is a great machine. If you've seen that in a lot of my videos, it's awesome. I love it. And for the, for many, many, many people, that's going to be the perfect machine to put in your basement or your garage. It's big enough to do real work, but it's small enough that one or two people can move it around and the price is right. You can't beat it. Uh, I, I really like that machine. But I've always dreamed of having something a little bit bigger and badder, um, but still not the size of like a full-size milling machine. Something that's still small enough that uh, two people could move around. And enter the 728VT. So this machine, basically what this is, is this is like the bigger, badder, stiffer, heavier version of the PM25 MV, right? So this machine, first of all, is made in Taiwan. Uh, Taiwanese equipment generally has higher level of quality than stuff made in China. So, you know, one thing I've always been impressed with, with the Precision Matthews stuff, even their stuff from China, the, the quality is a little bit better, in my opinion, a little bit better than a lot of the other importers. That's one of the reasons why I like Precision Matthews. But uh, Taiwanese machines, actually, this is a better view right here. If you just kind of, there you go. You can't see much in the crate, but we'll do the best we can. Taiwanese machines generally have a higher level of quality than uh, stuff that comes out of China. And this is a Taiwanese milling machine. So that means the fit, the finish, the, the precision of the grinding, the scraping, uh, just everything about the way this machine is built and assembled, you can expect to have a higher level of quality than something that came out of China. Even though the Chinese stuff has been getting better uh, year after year, the Taiwanese stuff is better than the Chinese stuff. And that's what this is. This is a Taiwanese built milling machine. Uh, totally... Um, Totally different uh, level of quality than anything else you've you've probably seen or shopped for in terms of these benchtop milling machines. Also, this machine has more travel. I believe the y-axis travel on this machine is eight and a half inches. I think that's fully supported. Eight and a half inches of fully supported travel. I believe that if uh, you you overrun the the ways on the y-axis. I think the full limit of travel on the y-axis is over 10 inches, but uh, from what I can tell you, eight and a half inches of fully supported travel on the y-axis. And if you know anything about these machines, the y-axis is always the limiting, uh, limiting axis on these machines. X-axis is usually big enough, not a problem. Z-axis usually have a lot of clearance, but y-axis is always the one where you're, you're in the middle of a project and you realize you ran out of travel. So this has a little bit more y-axis travel. Uh, this has the auto, the, the one-shot loop system built into it. It has angular contact bearings in the spindle. This machine can go 4,000 RPM, which uh, is, you know, that's almost twice as fast as a lot of the other benchtop milling machines. A lot of them are 2,000 or 2,500 RPM. This thing is 4,000 RPM. The uh, the physical construction of the machine is different, so this machine has a wider column. The, the column is usually the, you know, every machine's got a, a I don't want to say a weakness, but every machine has its limitations, right? So the column is a big deal on these benchtop style machines. So having a, a bigger, wider, uh, sturdier column 
means you're going to have a stiffer machine, a machine with less deflection, um, less, you know, um, it's going to be just a better, more accurate machine. Uh, let's see, what else is different about this machine? This machine has plenty of clearance under the saddle for, for ball screws and ball nuts. So this is an ideal candidate for a CNC conversion. So basically, a lot of the projects that I had to do on the, the PM25MV, you know, the, old, the lube system and the, the spindle upgrade, you don't have to worry about that. This machine, you know, comes right from uh, Precision Matthews with, with those features uh, ready to go. And there's a whole bunch of other uh, specs on this machine. And what I would suggest, I'm going to put a link to this, uh, the Precision Matthews website in the description of this video. If you're interested in a machine like this, I would say please you know, go to their website and check them out. Yes, this machine costs more than a PM25MV. It, it absolutely does cost more money. But depending on what your expectations are, uh, this, this is a good value. Especially if you're looking at doing a CNC conversion, I really uh, would recommend uh, considering this machine. It's just better to get all this stuff from the beginning than have to take it on as projects after the fact. Plus, like I said, Taiwanese machine. So better, more accurate, higher level of quality. Uh, so I got big, high expectations for this. I can't wait to get it out of the crate and hook it up. Please leave comments, things uh, that you'd like me to investigate here when I power this thing up and, and get it on the floor. And I'll do my best to answer those questions. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos.